Hello everyone, my name is Lily and welcome back to another episode of The Wild at Heart. Um, if you have no idea what the heck we're doing, we got a lot of turnip babies and normal well, onion babies, I think, right? They kind of look like onions. And we're getting ready to go on to the next part of our journey. Say, before we continue onward, I was told that Brussel found you at the edge of the wood. Yeah, I got lost. Well, wherever you are, were headed, by the look of it, I'd say you seem prepared for a long stay. What's your point? I'm, so sh I'm simply cautious what would make you run away from home like you have. How did you know? I've been around a long, long time, but the years comes an intuition of some measure. I don't want to talk about it. Fair enough. But there are things about this place not yet revealed to you. If you were to suddenly change your mind, for instance, you may find yourself disappointed. Can we just move on? I thought we weren't supposed to dilly-dally. Very well. Are you ready to continue onward? Yeah. Right, let's be off. Hmm. What's wrong? It would appear the events of the day have caused me to forget my payload. I must return for it. Do not despair, though. The grove is just up ahead. Follow the path beyond this gate. You cannot miss it. Now make haste. Night will soon fall. Yeah, so for some reason, nighttime is very bad. We haven't really figured out why, but I'm sure that we will at some point, right? Uh-oh. Oh. Oh! Wait! I've made a terrible era. Darkness has fallen. Curses! Listen to me very carefully. Scrap heap? Run! Oh my gosh! Terrible! Oh, we gotta- we gotta run. Oh! Wake! Here! Hurry! Thank goodness we made it in one piece. That thing was scary. Wake, are you alright? Greycoat, I- You could have been killed in the little ones. Yes. No. Greyco, what were those things? The dark is bad. Let's be off. Dangers abound, but I shall guide you the rest of the way. We just have a short northbound trek ahead of us until we reach the grove. Come along, come along. Owen Wake? Welcome to the deep woods. Oh my gosh. So I say it again and again, but this game is so beautiful. Welcome, Wake. Whoa, is this where you live? Indeed, the Grove is the headquarters of this chapter of the Green Shield Order. Now, I believe you've earned a more thorough explanation. The creatures that attacked are a dark entity called the Never. The Never? Uh, yes. If it had been another name, we no longer know it. Probably. It is always here, always around us, but cannot materialize in the light. The dark is bad. These deep woods are ancient, secluded. We are in a world set aside from yours. The deep woods exist as a sanctuary, as a landing for the things forgotten, and as a prison. The sprightlings you have so brilliantly taken to are precious to us. They are magical in nature, and this place keeps them from your world and the perils there. But long ago, the ancients that built this place also intended it as a jail for the never, to keep it from your world. Where unchecked, it would run rampant, probably. And that's where we come in. We green shields are tasked with protecting the sprightlings and keeping the never confined to these deep woods at all costs. So, how did I get here then? Something about you. She chose you. She's not known for making mistakes. Now, we can discuss what to do next in the morning. Feel free to introduce yourself to the other green shields here. There's more of you? Of course. Though, some are currently off in distant corners of the woods, probably. When your eyes grow heavy, there's a place to rest at the north end of the grove. It's yours for as long as you need it. 
We will speak again in the morning. Okay. Um, the grove. Can we craft anything? No, not really. Okay. Um, let's keep the babies with us just in case. Is this someone's house? <laughs> I wanted to try and kick the. Well, I don't know, maybe something to see what it would do, but it didn't do anything. Sprightly Hearth. While the green shields have always held a kind and comfortable relationship with sprightlings, of late the forest creatures have been hanging around the grove less and less. The hearth was once a bustling place of joy and warmth, but now it's mostly empty. However, with a suitable structure and some cleaning, it'll be as inviting as ever. Find and bring back a giant shell to serve as the hearth's main building. Gain access to sprightling improvements. Oh, okay. So we can do a little bit of, not really city building, but a little bit of building. Oh, I love this person's design. Hello, I'm Wake. Cats, <laughs> cat lady weirdo. Cats, ah, sorry, spooked you. It's, uh, wow, that's some smell you've got going on over here. Yep, litter box. And my cats, they're gone. Oh no, where did they go? I sent them on missions to get stuff in the woods. They get the stuff and then they come back with the stuff. But sometimes they don't come back and I, uh, I know why. Oh no, I'm sorry, it's because of the smell? It's because they're having a tea party. They're having a tea party with the queen. Oh, well, good luck with that. I hope they come back to you soon. <laughs> My character design is so cute. Um... Upgrade mill. Uh, this water mill used to power all manner of projects in the grove, but its wheel went missing a long time ago. The green shields don't seem to remember the circumstances of its disappearance, but there's a note here that just says, borrowing for the forest project, whatever that means. If the mill can get back to working order again, who knows what wonders could be made. Hmm. Oh, health upgrade, device upgrade, and bag upgrades. That... Just the bag upgrade seems like a good incentive. Oh, we can sleep here. We can talk to them. Yep. I'm just gonna take a quick look. Okay, I think let's talk to him. Feel free to introduce yourself to the other green shields here. In Malt they sort to be sure, but you won't find keener keener. You won't find kinder hearts than theirs. When you're ready to rest, you can use the treehouse just behind me. It hasn't been occupied for some time, but you'll be most welcome there, I assure you. Very good. Wake, I can only apologize. Man, that was scary, but I don't think that w it was your fault. Thank you, tiny unwrinkled one, but it was. Uh, worrying not? <laughs> you should rest. More to accomplish in the morning, more scrap to loot. Ha! Ah. Okay. Very good, very good. I think that's all we can really do for right now. We can't go- oh, we can talk to this? Oh. No, I don't want to talk to you, Greyco. I want to talk to- yeah. Hey! <laughs> Sleep and save, yeah. Oh, how cute! That noise that it made was very funny, though. Oh, another dream. Oh my god, look at the steps. Like, the ripples in the ground as well. It's so beautiful. Oh, I love this art style so much. Hey, daddy -o. It's dad again. What's he doing here? Oh, those are old videos? Is that... We were so happy then. All of us together. I don't want to watch these. Why are you doing this? Why are you here? Earthquake! Oh, wait. Restless dreams? Uh, yeah. Yes, well, par for the course in these woods, I'm afraid. 
I often dream of a large vessel tossed about in a storm. As flotsam, I listen to it growl while it sinks. Disappearing beneath the waves, it almost sounds as though it's in pain. Anywho, we have much to do, probably. The day is young and the night is newly vanquished. Let us use the light while we can. I have another token to bestow on you, one most precious. But it lies a jaunt away, resting in a solemn thicket. That place is a grave. A grave? I'd like you to meet me there where I hope to be able... I hope... I'd like you to meet me there where I hope to be able to answer any further questions you may have and to ask you of a tremendous undertaking. Head out of the grove and look for the entrance just to the east. When you're close, you'll begin to come across scatterings of violet foxglove and little stickmen adorning the trees. Is this... Is this... What is that? What is that? The witch... The, the witching? No. The Blair Witch Project. Wow, that that was that was a long stretch for me. Uh, off you go now. Do not delay. You'll find me waiting for you there at the grove. Or at the grave, sorry. Finding, you'll find me waiting there at the grave. That sounds terrible. Dragon bubs? It's like little dragons and bubbles. So cute. Okay, did this person come out? No. Where is all my... Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, okay. So this is... Look at... I wonder what that lady is over there. Oh, that's the grave. Excuse me. That is the grave. Um, Do I need my peeps? What do you want to do? Withdraw? Oh, there we go. Take all of them. Let's hatch the two that we have. I know we can't take them, but they hide out in the log. And I think with that, that we might have 20, but we don't have the ability to hold 20 of them yet. Whoa. Yeah, this is very, very beautiful. Cool. Very cool. Oh hey, that looks like the place Greycoat was talking about. Ugh, and like everything here is super blocked by random stuff. Well, I guess we'll just have to figure out a way in, right guys? Then maybe you can help me find my friend who we were supposed to meet but I got lost. She's super cool though, you'll like her. Kirby, I hope you're okay. She's probably fine, dude. She's probably capable of everything everybody fight yeah boy okay uh let's pick up this stuff what was that oh my gosh okay sunken grotto and crystal fall coast for frost fields and the grove in the heartlands okay well it's quite clear that we Oh, sorry. Um, that we are not going to go and attack that frog guy yet. Because that looks very feisty. I don't think we're ready for that kind of feistiness. Let's break it open. Okay. We're ready to go? Let's see. Do we actually have enough? We have enough room. So if that guy ends up dropping that seed, we can just pick it up. Oh. Um, do we want to attack? Oh my gosh! Help me, people! All my little babies come to my aid. And I'll kick these trash back. <laughs> you guys can help me kick this now, too. Wow. I gotta be careful for that bush. That guy was really intense. Okay, let's go, kids. Oh, we're missing one. Did one of them die? Oh no! That'd be really sad. Or did we forget him somewhere? Oh no, he's here. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm just doing the best I can with picking up all of the scrap and stuff. That seems really helpful. We can come back for that. 
Let's see. Can we, we can't get up here yet because this thing is broke. Well, it's not broken. It's just not growing. We need uh, leaves and stuff up there to be able to have it grow. Hmm. Okay, so let's have you kids attack this thing then. Because y'all are so good at destruction. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's going so quick! Can I help too? <laughs> okay, let's go. Um, there are a lot of places to pick up new babies. That's very nice. It's just a shame that we can't hold any right now. What is this? Nothing, I guess. Um, we can do this now. Open that up. So now we have a shortcut. Green Witch Cataflacu? Q? I have no idea. Hop down. There's a ladder there. Can we... No, I want that ladder. Oh, we can probably do this. You're not going to bring me that ladder? How rude. Okay, um... Wait, is is this where we were supposed to be? Wait, oh yeah, he's up there. I saw him. Here lies the green witch of the Willow Vale Deep Woods stick figures. Talent matched only by her kindness, she loved fiercely and stood stone vigil in her duties. She never took a life, but she surely saved one. She survived by two, wherever their souls may be. Uh... Requay Scott in face? Maybe rest in peace, but in a language that I'm not aware of. You're here, thank you for coming. This is an important place to us, probably. This is the cataflac of the Green Witch. What's a cataflac? Huh, an antiquated term to your ears, probably. Tis a place of internment. A body lay in that stone. So it's a like catacombs almost. What is really catacombs? There's another word for it. I feel like uh It's not a mausoleum. I don't know, I can't think of it. A woman gracious and kind, powerful beyond measure. She was a green shield as well at first. She went by the name Stick Figures. Huh. The stick men you see adorning I don't see any stick figures adorning anything. Um the stick figures you see adorning these branches were her work. They are small wards against evil. Huh. The green witch saved me. I can't recall how, but my heart remembers that it was so. She gave me a family again. She was like a mother to me, to many of us. Huh. Excuse me. It's been some time since I visited her. I wasn't expecting... Ahem. With her as the leader of the Green Shield, of this Green Shield chapter, she kept us organized. She kept the wee spritling safe and she made sure that they never stayed locked away. You may have noticed that the others and I have a bit of magic potency. Magical potency. A little. Huh. Well, we're nothing compared to her. She could do incredible things. Things that are hard to put into words to, probably. Not least of her abilities. That was she. Not least of her abilities was that she was the only one who could open the door to the deep woods. And that's where you're here, Wake. Huh? She passed some time ago, not in the manner that you and I will eventually succumb. No, she's too powerful for such a simple fate. She is the Deep Woods now. She's all around us. It is not by accident that you didn't find the woods you were used to when you stepped beyond your back door. Stick figures opened the way for you. We are the chosen one. How did you know? She needs you. Why me? Well... I don't have the answer to that just yet, but it seems... But it must be for some reason, probably. She doesn't make mistakes. She chose you. And that's why I'm giving you this. A book. You got book. The Ensorcelled Missive of the Hermetic Order of the Verdant Shield. Or just book, as commonly referred to by the Green Shields. It is an old and often confusing tome that documents the various inhabitants and creatures of the deep woods. It appears this copy is also missing pages. Ah, they contain a collection of cryptic notes from its original owner, Big Pockets. Use the button to access the book. It's a book? 
It says, <laughs> in Sorcelled Missive of the Hermetic Order of the Verdant Shield. But then someone just stuck a piece of tape over, <laughs> over it with the word book written on it. Hi. It's book. It's quite potently magical in nature. It learns. It'll help you with all things within the deep woods, probably. This is great and all, but shouldn't you have it or one of the other green shields? Hmm. Great coat. We grumble, grumble, grumble. What was that? We forgot how to read, okay? That's why we call it the book. We couldn't even remember what it was originally called. The saucepan misfit of the hormonal? Never mind, okay? Jeez, okay, relax. Wake, I want to task you with something. Will you hear what I have to ask of you? It'd be funny if we said I don't know. Mm, nah, I'm good. <laughs> It'd be so funny if the hero said that. Yes. I want to help. You, are true, you truly are a remarkable tiny old man. I'm glad you're here. Our order, these deep woods. We are failing. Her hold on the never, it weakens. The strengthening of the never saps our magic, our minds. We can't even remember our own names. If she loses control completely, the barrier will disappear. The never will be unleashed upon your world. What I task you with is this help restore our order. In these woods are other green shields that have gone astray, off on missions that I fear have failed. Rally our onward green shields and bring them back. Paper Plains is off in Wisp Wagon, searching for an old ally. The way will be south back through the heartlands. Toothpicks venture to far to the western destination, the stormy region of Crystal Fall Coast. Wild ravines and watery grottos lie between here and there. Tread lightly. And lastly, the twins. They both travel north to the snowy highlands. To and lastly, the twins. They travel north to the snowy highlands of frost fields. I've taken the initiative of marking on your map these locations. I hope you won't mind. These green shells will help renew our grip on the confines that kept that keep the never confined. Wake, will you undertake this task? But Kirby. I would love to help really, but what about my friend? I was supposed to meet her. I don't blame you for being reticent. I don't, I don't blame you for being reticent. I think it's reticent. I have no idea. Though I dare say we cannot do it without you, and I'm sure your friend will be fine. Mm, okay, I guess I'll help, but Kirby's gonna kill me. Then it is decided and done. Huh? Russell, is that you? <laughs> Well, I see that is interesting indeed. Just one moment. Wait, before you go, Brussels has observed something of significance between you and the, and the Spritelings. There is a unique connection there, when not seen for some time. Okay, indeed, he thinks you may be able to bring out the best in them. For example, do you see that plant bulb there? Twinklings? Twiglings? For example, do you see that plant bulb there? Twiglings once knew how to speak with such flora to encourage growth. By tossing them at it, see if you can't remind these old souls of forgotten traits. So you want us to throw them at stuff to help them remember? <laughs> Dare I say the Deep Woods is truly waking up. Okay, enough talk probably. We'll use these tools we have given you. Now go forth the newest green shield of this Willow Vale chapter. Officially, kind of. Bring the missing green shields back into the order. With their help, we will renew our grip on the never. Cool, cool, cool. That's cool. What did Greycoat say this thing was called? Cata something? These stone pillows look like they used to hold something. Whatever it was, they're gone now. Really? What pillars? I don't even see any stick men. Can y'all do anything with this? No. They just kind of looking like... I... I don't know. Okay. Well, let's throw you guys at this. Oh, five of them. There we go. Ooh! That is nice. We got a page in the book. 
Uh, how do we... How do we look at the book? Can we look at the book? Oh, that's cool. I was to move ours to zoom. I don't know how to use the book, though. Interesting. Um, don't think we need that stuff. Well, let's do it. Maybe if we can just gather up as many kids as we can and keep them in, like, reserve. That would be cool. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> it just looks so good. It's causing a bunch of chaos. Um, okay, we gotta pick up this as well. How fun. Uh, hatch more even though we can't really take them. We definitely have more than enough now. We'll just have to wait, I think. And now that we know that we can activate those pods, that's pretty good. Oh, we'll probably have to go this way, right? And then... Cool. Come back to me, babies. Well, they're not babies, right? Like, they're actually, like, ancient beings. <laughs> From a different reality. Okay. Um, let's open up this. Very cool. I like that. Let's go. Okay, so we've been tasked now to bring people back. And let's take a look at our map. Oh my goodness, great. Oh wait, didn't they say that somebody was south of here? I don't see them on the map. I just see... Oh, there's a thing here. Um... Oh, okay, I'm gonna go check that out. I have no idea what that is. I think that might be something of our doing, but I can't really be sure. Oh, it's this. But they don't know how to do this yet. These kids are just kids. <laughs> okay, so I guess we can't get past that right now. Um. Interesting, okay. So, I wonder if we have to progress things in a specific order, and if we don't, then we die? This one seems like the closest to us, so maybe we should do, like, at least check it out and see if we can go that way. And if not, I guess we'll go to the one in the north, because the north one also is pretty close. Hmm. Oh, there's this grody stuff. Wonder... Okay. I guess we'll have to go around it. Cool. Let's take you guys. Let's see. Oh, there's a campfire over here. Oh, it's right here. Right? Oh, this is just a map. I thought that there was a campfire. Is it down below? There it is. That's cool. And they even give us a place to store. Dang, this thing's clogged up good. Looks like it needs a strong pull to clear. Oh. Can we teleport now? From place to place? Oh, cool. What do you want to do? Withdraw, dismiss idols, or hatch? Okay, we can't teleport, which is unfortunate. We did find another piece of the... Um, is this teleporting maybe? Yeah, cool. Okay, I think I'm probably gonna end this episode here, guys. We're in a pretty good place. We now have an objective. We're gonna try and find all the green peeps. Bring them back home, safe and sound. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode. If you liked it, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please go ahead and throw those down below. And if you feel like subscribing to this channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you get a notification when the next video comes out. But until next time, I will see you later. Bye!